Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic in the series on mercy is mercy and intercession for a loved one. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 15 and verse 22. A Canaanite woman from that vicinity came to him crying out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is demon possessed and suffering terribly. For a few days now, we have been discussing the mystery of mercy. A mystery is something that cannot be fully and totally explained. We have seen through scripture how the mercy of God has brought favor, how the mercy of God has brought exemption, how it has brought healing. Today, I want us to, through scripture again, notice a link between mercy and God's intervention in the life of a person interceded for. In our anchor scripture, a woman came to Jesus to intercede for her child. Her child was seriously ill and demon-possessed and had suffered greatly. Moved by compassion for her ailing child and knowing that there was no other care for her child elsewhere, she ran to Jesus. She was a Gentile. She had no business being with Jesus at any time, but she was desperate. She must have gone to a few Jewish people who may have tolerated her and asked to learn things about their cultures and greetings to be able to approach Jesus. She finally got in contact with Jesus and guessed the first thing she said, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. Oh, there is something about the mercy of God that attracts his attention to the one asking for it. Jesus pretended to ignore her, but before long, he had healed her daughter and delivered her. My dear listeners, I do not know who it is you have been interceding for. A sick child. A child that has given you heartache through their behaviors over and over again. A loved one who is not yet saved. A friend in a dire and contrary situation. Please, allow me to introduce to you the mystery of mercy. The mother in her anchor scripture had no one else to go. So she risked rebuke, embarrassment and reproach and reached out to the Lord of mercy, asking for mercy. Her loved one was healed. I pray for you this morning that by the mercy of God, every tear you have cried over your loved ones will cease in this season. The mercy of God can and will bring you lasting peace over your loved ones. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word today. Today, Lord, I pray for as many who are interceding for their children and their loved ones, whether because of illness, bad behavior, or one contrary situation or the other. Lord, this morning, by faith, we speak your mercy over such situations. In the name of Jesus, we declare healing, transformation, and light in all these issues. Please continue to take all the glory, Almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website on www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.